parallelogram of parallelogram is the opposite sides are parallel. So this is parallel to this, and this is parallel to this. And then when those conditions are met, other conditions are met as well. So when you both opposite sides are parallel, then also the opposite sides are equal. And then opposite angles are congruent as well. So opposite meaning like the diagonal. So this angle is the same measure as this angle. Then this angle is the same measure as this one. Then the third thing we learned about a parallelogram is the diagonals bisect each other. So this diagonal here, not the same length as this. You can see that this is going to be longer than this one. Um, but they do meet at the midpoint. So this is the same length as this. This here is the same length as this. Diagonals bisect each other. What's up, Alex? What's your question? Okay, so as you do this, remember to make sure that you leave room for trapezoid and kite, which we're doing on Tuesday. Um, parallelogram has two babies. So one baby is named Rhombus. And the other baby is named Rectangle. Okay, so these two kids of parallelogram, um, they have all the properties of a parallelogram and then more, like more specific. So a rhombus, which you re may remember, or you may not, that's cool too. Um, all the sides are the same measure in a rhombus. So some, when you're in elementary school, probably called it like maybe a diamond or something. Sometimes it looks like this, but it's a parallelogram, but all the sides are the same measure. So all sides are congruent. So just like parallelogram, opposite sides are equal, but in addition, all the sides are equal. So consecutive sides are the same measure as well. Then the next thing for a rhombus, having to do with the diagonals. With a rhombus, the diagonals are perpendicular. So diagonals are perpendicular. So they make a 90 degree angle. And then the third thing for a rhombus that we need to know is that the diagonals actually bisect the angles. So this diagonal right here bisects that angle into two equal parts. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to make that line there. I need white out. Okay, I'll make two lines here. Okay, so bisect the angle, both sides are the same. And then if you were to draw another diagonal this way, same thing happens. Both sides are the same measure. So this is the same measure over here, and this is the same measure over here. Diagonals bisect the angles. Diagonals bisect the angles. Oh, diagonals are perpendicular. That's the symbol for perpendicular. Okay. So again, a rhombus is a parallelogram, so all these things apply as well. And then more specifically, a rhombus has these things. Then for rectangle, which you guys are very familiar with at this point, rectangle comes up a lot. This is a rectangle, as you know. Um, and again, rectangle is a parallelogram, so opposite sides are equal and opposite sides are parallel. But in addition, a rectangle has 90 degree angles. So it has four right angles, making it a rectangle. Okay. 
and then of course we're going to talk about the diagonals as well. So these are the diagonals. The diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. Diagonals are congruent. So therefore segment AC is congruent to segment BD. Okay, so with those diagonals being congruent, um, so they still bisect each other, so this is the same length as this, but because these diagonals are now congruent, all four of these segments are now the same measure. So if you had the length of one of them, you have the length of all, or you can set expressions equal, um, whatever comes up. What also happens, because we're going to be talking about angles as well, is now these are isosceles triangles. So since this is the same length as this, you have an isosceles triangle here, and then these two angles are equal. And so these two angles are equal as well. And these two triangles have the same dimensions because remember opposite sides are equal as well. So these two triangles are congruent and they share all their properties. And that happens for these as well. Again, they're isosceles. So this angle would equal this one. And this angle would equal this angle. The base angles are the same measure. And then these two opposite triangles are congruent and have all the same measures. So, parentheses makes isosceles triangles. It's like all coming together. Would it be better if I zoomed in a little bit or not? Put all that down. Okay, one more thing. Um, you're not supposed to do this in real life, but siblings rhombus and rectangle had a baby. And they called it square. So square um, follows all the rules of parallelogram, rhombus, and rectangle, and it's just like the most perfect of shapes. And as you know, it looks like this. And so a square has all the 90 degree angles, of course. Um, the diagonals of a square, again, ever so perfect. The diagonals make a 90 degree angle, and then all the diagonals bisect each other, and they're all congruent. So just perfect, perfect, perfect. All the sides are the same measure, like a rhombus. Oh, so this is like this. Okay, and it's just perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, and then as far as the angles go, and we'll get into this in the lesson as well, um, these are all 90 degree angles. So you have four 90 degree angles on the inside here where the diagonals intersect. And then these diagonals bisect the angles because it is a rhombus. So each of these is 45 degrees on each side as well, but we'll get on into that on the lesson as well. So my guess is the gist. So leave this out because it is um, like your notes that you're going to refer to for this lesson. Um, also, again, you're going to fill in the rest on Tuesday. So after you're done with the homework and everything, just put it in your folder. Can do four on Tuesday. Okay, so keep this out. Now we're going to transition over to the notes. So take out your note packet and then we'll start on there. Yes.